Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and this is the new Lost Baby Buggy. It's a new Taj Burrow model uh, that just came out, and it is uh, one of their high-performance shortboards. Great all-around shortboard and uh, an addition to the Taj Burrow signature line. For those of you that are familiar with the previous Taj boards, uh, they've got a Taj Whiplash, a Taj Beach Buggy. Uh, those boards tended to be very low in volume and so I think when a lot of people heard about this board coming out they expected it immediately to fall in line with those boards and it's to be full-on potato chips. The storyline behind this board is uh, Taj and his wife just had their first uh, child and he had to take some time off of the tour and he was spending a lot of time free surfing in Western Australia and he wanted to have some shorter, wider, thicker boards, just, just stuff that was fun to surf uh, in, a, in a wide range of like beach break and point conditions. So he asked Matt Biolas to make him this board uh, just more of, as a free surf board rather than a contest board. And overall it's a little bit flatter in rocker uh, and carries more foam per its length. So right out of the box when we started unpacking these boards, you know, something like a 6.0 being in the 32 liter range is, uh, is more foam than what you're used to seeing in like one of Taj Burrow's uh, 6.0 boards. So, what does that mean for you? The flatter rocker and the extra foam make it a, a significantly easier board to surf. Uh, and, a be, and a wider range board in softer waves is going to work better. It's going to have more glide to it. And if you're going back and forth uh, between a hybrid and a, sh a standard shortboard like this board, it's going to be a whole lot easier to surf than a, than a full on, uh, you know, more narrow, more rockered out, and more chipped out uh, shortboard. Uh, this board, uh, this is my own. This is my own baby buggy. This is a 6.0. I'm sorry, not a 6.0. It's a 6.3. I wish it was a 6.0, but it's a 6.3. I couldn't surf a 6.0 on this board if I was like inflated with helium. But 6.3 and uh, this board, uh, you can see it's well used. We just got back from Nicaragua. We were down there for eight days, uh, sun up to sun down with the guys and girls at Safari Charters, and they dialed us into an epic week of surfing. Um, a lot of boat time. A lot of point breaks, a lot of beach breaks, and uh, just nailing the, uh, the crowd changes, what they call shift changes, all the time. Just putting us on the good waves and getting us a, a really good week of surfing. We had uh, eight days in the water, offshore wind all day, every day. And uh, this board was, uh, I would say out of the whole week, this was my most surfboard and uh, the board that I surfed the most. And it was also, a, uh, of all the shortboards I've ever surfed, this is one of my favorite shortboards ever. Just a really good all-around board and, and super stoked with it. And when you, you can't see it on camera, but you get up close and you could definitely see it was, it was one of the ones I was using the most as far as the condition of the board after hammering it in and out of the boat and in and out of the break and, and the countless number of waves we got. But talking about the performance on this board, uh, for a shortboard, catches waves really, really easy. Um, just without having to go high volume, just the overall design of the board slides through the water really easily. When you're paddling it, gets into waves really easy and has, the thing that I like about shortboards, and this is really all shortboards in general, is that you're not doing your turns to the extent that the board can turn, you're actually doing the turns to the extent that you're, you're physically able to turn. So you're able to surf the board as hard as you want and put it in, into positions that you can't put um, like hybrids or grovelers. So this board can do that, but this board does it with an ease level that is comparable to, uh, to like your standard hybrid style board. So that's, that's what was a nice mix for me because I spend most of my time on hybrids and on grovelers. Uh, and then, you know, I get to ride shortboards, you know, at the better times of the year here in Cape Hatteras or the better times when I'm traveling, but not as like my daily board. This board, it made it really easy to go from something like a quiver killer, which I had on, uh, on that trip as well, to this board and, and back and forth, and it was a seamless transition. The uh, getting into waves is easy. The range of the board was also really, really good. Um, the flatter rocker still works. The flatter rocker still works in softer waves. So on the, on the smaller side, I uh, got to ride this board. Uh, like I would say the, the range of soft surf is anywhere from like perfect thigh high up to soft overhead points, really long points. We had some, had some days uh, where we had points that were upwards of 350 yards long, uh, but there's, it's a softer wave. And, and this board just excels 
in something like that. Having the little bit of extra width and the flatter rocker and, you know, having a tail block that's not too pulled in. Um, this is, you know, I'd say, I'd call this for this style of board, this is a, mo a moderate tail block. It's not, it's not really big and it's not like super pulled in like a V2 shortboard is. This board, so it covers, it covers that, uh, that lower end range really well, especially if you can actively generate speed, like in those softer conditions, it, it's a great board for that. It's got a single concave all the way throughout. So going the whole way through the board, it's single. And then you get to the back, it just goes flat to V out the back. And all of these boards that you're seeing uh, are, the baby buggy does come standard as a uh, thruster. Um, typically they don't do them as a five fin. You could order one custom as a five fin, but this board worked great just as set up as a, uh, as a standard thruster. On the higher end of the surf, you know, kind of pushing this board into, um, you know, hey, what can this thing do in the, in the high end? Uh, I would say, like, the, the biggest surf that we surfed it in was the, the points, um, you know, one, two feet overhead, uh, softer conditions, you know, medium, like, kind of omni barrel conditions, and then also some good, like, heaving beach break days uh, that were, like, a foot overhead and just like thick, super, super thick waves. And uh, in, in those conditions, still really great board. I mean, you, you spend so much time on it that you get to know it like the back of your hand and it, it really does like whatever, whatever you want it to. So I think it felt, felt really good um, in those conditions as well. I mean, obviously the mid-range, everything's gonna work in its mid-range and that's, that's where this board, you know, a lot of people look to a board to make them a better surfer when a lot of times a board can't make you a better surfer. This one, like, it felt like you could surf better because of it being able to do the turns and not be limited by its own shape or its own foam. So super fun in that aspect. As far as uh, fins, one thing that I noticed, I mean, I don't know if anybody else is going to notice it, but the very first time I surfed it, I put on, uh, like, my normal fins that I would normally ride, which uh, were the or which are the uh, the MB, the, the Matt Biolis, the FCS2 large template. And I ride those fins on all my boards, and for FCS2, they work great on all my boards. On this board specifically, it felt a little bit squirrely in the, in the bigger waves, like at high-speed bottom turns. And so I put in uh, the extra-large performers. So I basically put in just a little bit more fin. And this may translate to other people at different weights, I'm not sure, but I definitely felt like the board was a little bit squirrely like at the highest speed of it and I put these in and it just locked it in and it was full on from from that point on so something you might want to try if everything feels really good but there's just like a little bit of release in your in your turn that you want to lock in um, try a different set of fins in it because that could help you out quite a bit because it was it went from being like really good to incredible when I switched the fins out so it definitely shows you that that fins can make a difference and with the FCS2 system it's just you know, pop, 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 take the fins out, pop, 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 put three more in, and, and then you're back out there. So uh, the baby buggy from Lost to Tosboro, another Tosboro signature board, uh, great all-around short board, you know, great single short board as, as long as, it, you know, it's not, like, hammering inside out all the time waves. Like, especially if you're looking for something, like, bottom end to upper mid-range, this is a really good short board to check out and super forgiving. So, it's not, you know, it's not just for people that were following Taj's boards before or following like the really high-end Lost Shore boards, this is a really accessible board uh, that a lot of people could have fun on. So definitely check it out. It's uh, the Lost Baby Buggy. If you have any more questions, you can call us at the shop, which is 252-987-6000 is the phone number, or you can check it out online on our website, which is realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.